Oh, that's pretty sweet. Hey guys, it's Dakota from Drake. Welcome back to another review. So today, as the title says, we're gonna be covering the Graxaw Backcountry Boot Dryer. So I first saw this boot dryer uh, when my buddy Justin uh, sent me a picture of it. And I think at the time he sent it to me, it was a prototype. Um, and I was like, dude, I gotta get my hands on one of those because uh, I wanna do a review on my channel for him. So fast forward a couple months later, the guys at Graxaw, with the help of Justin, they sent me one to do a review on. Um, so thank you guys for that. So today I kind of want to do two things. I want to do an unboxing um, and we can cover some of the statistics and, and how it works and then we're going to do a test. So I got a pair of boots um, that we'll do a test on and see how long it takes to, to dry those boots out. So before we dive into that, this product right here is going to be ideal for I think like a late season backpack hunter. Um, or, or even early season because then you're, uh, there's some creeks or something you could be crossing, but for sure late season because late season the weather starts to turn and you get some, you get some of those harsher weather conditions. But on the flip side of that, if you have a good pair of boots, um, I think guys who, who go in and they do backpack hunts usually have a good pair of boots. I've been running these bad boys for going on six years. Uh, these are the crispy hunters. They're in pretty rough shape now. I think I'm gonna retire them after after this year or I might get a new pair this year. With these boots right here, I've never ever had wet feet. And I've ran these boots through the gauntlet. I think the only time I've had uh, moisture in here is obviously sweat. As the years have gone by, like last year, I, I went through a creek and where my boots have cracked is where maybe a little bit of water got in, but I've never had drenched feet to where I've had to dry my boots out. So where this product would come in handy is if you have a uh, cheaper pair of boots. Um, but guys or, or girls who have lower end boots, these are just a pair of redheads that you can pick up at like Sportsman's or Cabela's and they're not very, uh, they're not very expensive at all. So what I wanted to do with these boots is uh, we'll go outside and I'll just run the hose across them and then I'll put my hand in there until I can feel to the point where I think it's going to need uh, either to get dried out by the sun or or use something like this. So that's what we'll do for the test. Uh, but before the test, obviously, let's uh, let's open the box and see what they're all about. So what what I've read from online is that this thing sips on the battery pack that you use. So today we're going to use um, just a power bank that I got off Amazon. I used it last year. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's called a Blavor. It's pretty cheap. Um, but we're going to run it. Uh, we're gonna run it off this, but like I said, what I've, what I've read about online is that it just sips on this, so you're not gonna have to worry about draining your battery uh, when you're drying your boots out. All right, so these are them. And as you can tell, they're really light. I think they come in at like a little over three ounces, 3.5 ounces, and uh, a pretty cool color too. And then there is a uh, USB receptacle right here. Looks like it comes with an extension. Yeah, so it's gonna come with an extension. And then, gotcha. Just some instructions, gotcha. So let's, uh, I want to plug these things in first and see how it works. Oh, that's pretty sweet. And it's blowing some good air as well. All right. So going back to what I was talking about, how um, it doesn't it doesn't drain your battery um, on your on your power bank. Um, their website does say that it's that it runs anywhere from 0.23 to 0.27 amps at five volts. But that's pretty much that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Um, now I want to do the test. So the best way to run these boot dryers um, is with heat, whether that's in your truck, uh, next to a campfire, um, or in something like this. This is a uh, Seek outside Eolus, it's a two-man floorless shelter. 
uh, and you can run a stove in these. Uh, so if you get that stove going, get it hot wherever you're at, um, and allow hot air to be circulating through your boots, uh, it's going to dry it out a lot faster. Uh, I think their website says almost three times faster um, than if you were just air drying it with just cold air or just the air outside. I'm not going to set up that tent today um, because it's already hot as it is outside. So I figured 75 degrees outside, um, we'll get these boots wet and then we'll plug these in, set a timer and just see how long uh, it takes to, uh, to dry these out. All right, so I got these uncomfortably wet. Now they're not soaked down to the bone, um, but they are to where your socks would be wet um, and, and you really could feel it. So let's set these down. Gotta clear some room up here. Get that out of the way, okay, so. Let's plug this in. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, they are pretty soaked. So you're gonna wanna do these uh, logo down. So not logo up or you're gonna be blowing air out of your boots. Let's untie these. Also, I wanted to add, um, I have this at fully charged. So there's four green or four blue bars. Um, each bar can fill my iPhone from 0% to 100. Um, so we're gonna plug this in, we'll time it, uh, and then we'll see how much juice it took out of this. And then lastly, it is 75 degrees outside, but up in my studio right here, it's about 80 pretty dang warm up here so I figured I would do it up here um, and kind of give us a better reading um, so let's plug this thing in those are so cool so now we wait um, I will set a timer and uh, and we'll just come back and check on it every once in a while and see how long it takes to dry these boots out all right so i've checked the boots twice i checked it at 30 minutes uh, and they were still wet i checked them at an hour and they were starting to get better um, so i waited another 45 minutes so we're going on an hour 45 i'm going to turn this off and see how they're doing So that one's almost done. And that one is dry. So I bet you 20 more minutes, 30 more minutes on this boot and both of your boots would have been dry. So, so two hours, maybe a little over two hours. Um, granted, I feel like if you would have had this in a teepee where the air is more condensed, um, hot air is more condensed in there or next to a fire, probably a little bit faster, um, but it is hot up here, like I said. Um, and yeah, like I said, those are, both of those boots are, are almost bone dry. The outside of the boots though, I mean, a little bit wet, but inside are, insides are great. Uh, as far as battery life, uh, it used, I used two bars, um, so I still have I still have two more full, full phone charges, um, which is pretty dang good. So, for me, would I throw these in my pack this year? I probably wouldn't, and that is solely based on the boots that I run. Um, if I'm gonna go with something like a Crispy Summit or a Colorado, um, that aren't as insulated and waterproofed as my hunters, um, then yes, I would pack them. But if I'm running my hunters again, 
or like the crispy guide or uh, low tibet a boot like that um, i probably wouldn't pack these that being said for someone who is running a cheaper boot um, and had and have had problems in the past uh, these are a must i would they don't weigh anything and they fit i mean cord and all that's not going to take up any room in your pack you can slip this in the hood of your pack um, down at the bottom somewhere but weighs nothing i think like i said i stated earlier it was 3.5 ounces uh, so relatively nothing so as far as price point these are going to come in at 79.95 um, i did find one on amazon um, with okay reviews that comes in around like 30 or 40 40 dollars i think and then i think rei sells one too uh, very similar for around 30 um, but the reviews are kind of mixed if you're someone who has had problems in the past with boots I highly recommend this um, again weighs nothing and it only took hour and a half two hours with not the best heat um, to air dry those boots out so again these are the Graxaw backcountry boot dryers you can pick them up at graxaw.com in the next following weeks uh, we will be doing a couple more reviews I have a gun wax product and then some more Canis reviews and then as the season progresses I'm a gearhead, so I'm sure I'm going to be getting some more gear, um, and I'll be getting those out shortly. Like always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.